Hey YouTube, what's up? Ember1205 here for uh, Hot Camaro Channel. Quick video today, a uh, lot of folks with Camaros, and this applies really to uh, uh, probably the GM brand in general over the last probably four, five, six years. Uh, but a lot of folks with Camaros run into these weird, little, glitchy, quirky things with their cars where they push a button or try and choose a setting and it doesn't do what they expect. Uh, and I just wanted to take a few minutes today to show you how to go into the infotainment system and uh, check to see if there are any software updates because applying updates might be the simplest way to fix some of these problems. So let's, uh, let's take a look. All right, we are going to go ahead and uh, do a check for updates. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to start by uh, just pressing the start stop button. Nothing on the brake or clutch. We don't want the car to start. Uh, all that we want is for it to basically power on to a point where the infotainment will uh, will boot up. And we're going to go to the home screen, and we're going to go to settings. Under the system menu, uh, we're going to scroll down, and we're going to choose the updates section. Let me go ahead and put the parking brake on because it thinks that I'm driving. And that's it. Uh, make sure that your car has a good view of the sky. Uh, you've got good good cell coverage in the area where you are, things like that. Because these uh, these things factor into how it checks for updates. Um, and you want to make sure that if it does, in fact, find something, that it can actually download it. So my car's up to date, but uh, but this whole thing with the, uh, with the infotainment thing being uh, basically behind on the software is a common cause of a lot of problems for a lot of owners, and they're just weird little things. When I first bought my car, uh, I would power the car off, like turn it off, and I would exit the vehicle, close the door, and lock the doors, and the radio would continue to play. Uh, it turned out that there was some sort of a glitch in the software, whether it was something corrupt in the settings or or if it was an actual problem with the software, I don't know. But I went in, I did an update, I forced the update to run. The whole thing took, I think, 15 or 20 minutes, and I have not had that problem recur since. So if you're having an issue, uh, go in here, check this out, take a look in this section. Uh, again, I'll, I'll show you real brief. From the, from the home menu, you go to settings. Uh, in the system menu, you want to scroll down, and you're going to pick the updates section, and it just automatically checks for you. So that's it. All right, well, there you have it. Uh, real simple, real straightforward. If there are updates available for the software in your car, it will guide you through the process of actually installing them. Uh, there are some, uh, some, some certain variables that, that come into play in terms of whether it will find updates or let you install them, uh, ambient temperature, uh, how good of a cell signal and or um, satellite signal you're getting. I mean, there's a whole host of things, right? So, you know, at any rate, till, uh, till next time, uh, this is Ember1205 for Hot Camaro Channel. Please comment, like, subscribe. Hit the notification bell. I don't know. There's probably 45 different other things you got to do too. But uh, at any rate, thanks for watching today. And uh, until next time, Ember 1205, out.